Hi, I'm Jennifer Woodward and welcome. Today we are going to be talking about the five secrets for an easy perimenopause. What about you? Why are you here? I think I have an idea. Most likely you're like many of my perimenopausal clients. You're struggling with an extra five to 11 pounds of weight gain that came out of seemingly nowhere, especially around your midsection. Maybe you just can't sleep, even though you've always been a pretty decent sleeper. Now you're waking up between one and three in the morning. Maybe you just can't fall asleep really well and you are exhausted. Maybe your period cramps have gotten crazy worse. Maybe your PMS is so bad that you're kind of worried your husband's going to leave you or your kids are going to disown you. And maybe you're clotting or spotting or skipping cycles as is so common in perimenopause. Most likely you are like 99% of my clients and you're just flat out exhausted. Most of the day, you don't know how you're going to get through the day to take care of all the things you need to take care of because you are so tired. And maybe you've got these weird tummy issues that have cropped up where you're eating the same foods, but now you have all these new food sensitivities. Maybe you're struggling with gas and bloating, maybe diarrhea, maybe acid reflux or GERD, and it all just seems like it's coming to a head. Let's talk about who this isn't for. If you want a quick fix, or if you believe that you are a victim and things happen to you, instead of believing that you actually have a little bit of control over things, a little bit of power, we know that we're really not in control of anything, um, but believing that you do have it in you to, you know, make sure a program works, to take the steps to take control of your health, um, you know, then we can definitely be working together. Um, if you're sick of being caught in the cycle of trial and error, where you go from supplement to health guru, to pill, to program, to workout, to diet, then you are in the right spot. I also was sick of being caught in the cycle of trial and error. If you're ready to finally invest in your own health, you're in the right spot. And if you're an action taker, here we are. We are ready to take action together. I'm here to support you and you're ready to dive in. Let me introduce you to easy perimenopause. So really this is the new way to gracefully <laughs> sail through perimenopause while loving your metabolism, digestion, energy, and your life without intense exercise or starvation. Can you relate to this person? Did you hit 35, maybe 40, maybe 32, and suddenly gain 10 pounds out of nowhere? Are you sleeping worse than ever, but you never, ever, ever feel rested? Are you more anxious or irritable? Are you more depressed? Do you have more mood swings than you used to have? Or, you know, are you more moody than you used to be? And have you gone to a doctor only to be dismissed and handed birth control or an antidepressant or maybe Prilosec and your doctor said, Hey, your labs are normal, but you are a woman and you have a woman's intuition and you know that there is something deeper going on. Most likely you've tried it all. I tried it all. <laughs> Many of my clients have tried it all. We've done keto and carnivore weight watchers. We've gone plant-based. We've done intermittent fasting, even going down to one meal a day. We've done low carb, low fat, high protein, isogenics, Arbonne, Optivia, B12. And then we're like, well, these diets aren't working. Let's add more exercise. So we'll do high intensity interval training and jogging train for a marathon or a half marathon. We'll add an orange theory, CrossFit, cardio, weightlifting. Sometimes we're just like, F it. Let's take a break because none of this is working. So, you know, you'll alternate little couch potatoes potato stints with all of that extreme exercise. And when that doesn't work, you go to the pills, right? Let's try digestive enzymes or vitamins or herbs or shakes or pills or powders or all these potions that they're selling me on Instagram. Or maybe you're like some of my clients who are like, well, let's see what all this Ozempic fuss is about, right? And maybe that doesn't work. So you're like, well, let me go harder into my diet. I'm going to go gluten-free. I'm going to go dairy-free. I'm going to go sugar-free. I'm going to go alcohol-free and coffee-free. And guess what? You don't get better. You've done all those things and you just don't get better. I am here to tell you it is not your fault. So the real problem, actually, you probably need to move this over here because I think you're seeing what I'm seeing. <laughs> so I'll move it down there. <laughs> The real problem is this, the old way of dieting has 73% of us either overweight or obese. So three out of every four women are struggling with their weight hard. This isn't like, you know, an extra five or 10 vanity pounds. It's like 20, 30, 40, 50, a hundred pounds. And the old way of exercising has one out of every two women reporting that they literally feel burnt out, that they're at the end of the rope. The real problem is also that this old way of superwoman syndrome, when we started seeing our moms do everything and then that, you know, snowballed into us having to do double everything. <laughs> this is giving women increased rates of anxiety, depression, chronic stress and fatigue, migraines, 
heart disease, strokes, and infertility. So really it's that dying model that makes it harder and harder and harder for women just to feel normal, not even feeling good. I can tell you I have been where you are. All right. So you can see here, I've definitely struggled with the battle of the bulge. I was a fat little kid. My grandfather, when I was 12, decided he would pay me $20 to lose 10 pounds. So I am sure I could have lost 10 pounds, you know, at the age of 12. And I did because I wanted that $20, but that began a cycle of eating disorders for me. So binging and purging, um, obsessive compulsive disorder, um, orthorexia, you know, being an incredibly bound up in, you know, what my body was doing and, and what it looked like. Um, you know, from that very first time that, you know, this older man was like, you're not enough. So I will pay you to be better. I'm like, okay, <laughs> not knowing that's probably not the best thing, but really, you know, since then I, it's just been a constant struggle for me. My mother uh, was an anorexic, still is. So she spent about 55 years so far of her life um, as a diagnosed anorexic. I've got a deep seated issue with, um, you know, food and, and body image that's come to me honestly. And so I've worked really, really hard mentally, emotionally, and physically to kind of extricate myself from that and, um, you know, pass along some of that, that advice and wisdom that's been given to me to my clients. Right. And you can see like naturally when the body is doing what it's supposed to do. And we're nourishing the body here, not nourished right here, not nourished. This is me drinking a ton and eating whatever I want, exercising too hard, stressing too hard. You can see the look on my face. <laughs> I was pretty much done, you know, and then doing the things I'm going to teach you today. I'm able to be at a weight that I'm comfortable with. Like I am happy where I'm at. My body composition is fine. I can lift heavy weights, which is now more important to me than looking thin. Um, but it's taken 15 years of trial and error. And that's just a little bit of my story that I share with you because I want you to know that I know where you're coming from. All right. Is this a life you want? Do you want to wake up every morning and hate your body? Do you not want to wear any of your cute clothes? Do you want to be unable to go out and eat or even celebrate with your friends because you're like my client, Lori, who had to pull over on the side of the road on a trip to the beach because she had to go to the bathroom. She couldn't make it. Um, I've had many, you know, clients coming to me with experiences like that, where they're like, I can't do social situations because my digestion is so bad. I'm scared to go out. Do you want to hate advances from that hot husband of yours because your libido is just in the tank? And speaking of which, are you worried that he's going to leave you because your moods are so bad? Are you unable to be present with your children because you're just constantly worrying about your own health and you're worried about your own body just spiraling out of control? Do you have no energy to be a fun mom, a fun wife, or a fun friend? And are you kind of just sick of putting on a fake happy face when you feel like crap? Yep. I know. So let me give you the key to success. What we're going to do is learn how to run the labs that actually show us real data on your body. I'm going to teach you how to stop dieting once and for all, and just eat the foods and the calories that your body needs to optimize your craving control. Can we agree that if you can shut down your cravings, you could probably eat a pretty healthy diet. I can teach you how to shut down those cravings. And it's a lot easier than you think. We're also going to quit all that crappy exercise that's just worsening your adrenal fatigue. Right now in my life, to be the fittest I've ever been, I walk 10,000 steps a day. I lift heavy weights three times a week. That's what I do, right? I'm going to teach you how to do something similar. You're also going to get the right supplements for your body based off your functional lab work. You're not just going to be taking every supplement that Instagram throws at you or that your sister tells you is good for her or that your naturopath gives you without testing. And we're going to reset your nervous system. And this is key ladies. We're going to reset your nervous system so that you can finally sleep and that your body can handle stress. With this framework, we're not going to guess anymore. All right. We are going to test. We are going to run the labs that you need access to. So you can wake up every day, actually excited about your body, you know, energy wise and, and composition wise. And, you know, like just everything, mind, body, and soul waking up excited for the day instead of thinking, Oh, here we go again. <laughs> You're also going to have an abundance of energy, right? And you're going to have to figure out what you're going to do with that energy. And that's an exciting choice to make. You're going to feel sexy and also feel like actually having sex for the first time in years. Your stomach is going to be able to digest anything you put in it and you're going to poop normally. That's pretty great, right? 
most importantly, your perimenopausal symptoms like PMS and weird periods and that moodiness that's just been at your door crouching there waiting for you is going to be non-existent. And best part, you will get answers. So you can stop going from health professional to Instagram, to workout, to diet and getting no results. I should probably introduce myself. You might know a little bit about me. You might've followed me on social media or, um, somebody I know in real life. Hello. It's very nice to meet you. I am Jennifer. Um, I'm also mom and my husband, you know, of course calls me wifey. (laughs) No, he doesn't. I made that up. He doesn't. He calls me Jenny. (laughs) And what I do is this, you know, after almost 10 years working with women and health and hormones, um, I've really dialed into perimenopause. That's where I'm at. That's where a lot of my clients and, and colleagues are at. And this is really where I excel in helping women and specifically how I help women have an easy perimenopause, help them with happy tummies, fast metabolisms, and plenty of energy so that they can love their families, love their work, and really love their life. So let me tell you a little bit more about me. Um, I've got four kiddos. I, it's my favorite job. Like I love being a mom. I've always wanted to be a mom. It is what lights me up and I just love my kids. You know, I probably feel that way a little bit more as they get older. And I know that, you know, my son's leaving next year. My daughter's leaving the year after that for college. And then I just got my little two boys at home, but it just, um, you know, really gives me deep joy and satisfaction that I get to be their mama. I'm also a functional diagnostic nutrition practitioner. I'm a board certified functional wellness coach. Um, I do have my master's in science and specifically integrative nutrition. I was a guest lecturer in graduate endocrinology at the Parker University master's program, teaching grad students about the Dutch test. Super fun. Um, the former executive director of the association of functional diagnostic nutrition practitioners, professionals. So I ran the grad association for all FDNs for about three years. And now I am the creator and executive director of FDN business school. So I get to work really closely with, you know, our 900 FDNs all over the world. And I just love it. Um, you know, due to just what's transpired my professional career, I'm now a sought after podcast and webinar guest specifically for perimenopause. So it's super fun. Um, you know, we, right now we have, I think 30, 30 or more, um, just perimenopause focused webinars and podcasts. So, um, you know, if this is something that doesn't work for you, the program itself, please go listen to all those podcasts and webinars. Please look at my free resources on, you know, Instagram and Facebook. I've provided so much, uh, opportunity for you to learn and, and know what you need to do there there, um, that, you know, I I would love to share that with you. I've worked with over 900 women all over the world. Um, you know, they're happy when they graduate because I, I, I don't do things for them. I teach them what to do. And so, you know, they, they start to get this body literacy, which gives them a lot of confidence. They start to learn how their body works and how to tweak things and how to fix themselves. And it's so fun. So naturally they're happy about it. <laughs> fun fact about me, I have worked with a 10 time platinum recording artist and his girlfriend and his sister. And, um, so that's just been kind of a fun, uh, thing for me too. And of course I've been featured, you know, across a a wide variety of publications. I love getting to speak and do shows and, um, write. And so these are just some of my credentials. And just remember at the end of the day, I've been there myself. Okay. And now after 15 freaking years of trying all the things that you have tried and literally spending about $30,000 trying to fix my body, that's crazy. I have cracked the code. Like I can systematically work woman after woman, after woman, after woman through this process comfortably, confidently knowing that it works. This is what we're doing. We are running the labs. We're stopping dieting. We're working on your exercise. We're getting you the right supplements and we're resetting your nervous system. All right. And you know, just getting to help women like you makes me super grateful. Here are some of those podcasts you can listen to again. If you're not like full into the program itself, go check out the free resources. What you need to know is that there is a problem with the industry. The industry is broken. Remember what we talked about three out of every four women are either overweight or obese. One out of every two women, two women (laughs) reports being burnt out. Is that you? This is one of the reasons why most diet and exercise programs out there are further depleting you. You do not need any further depletion. You are already depleted. We can't build on a depleted body. We can't make a depleted body lose weight. We can't make a depleted body sleep deeper. We can't make a depleted body build more muscle. We need to replete the body. Now with the industry and all those diet and exercise programs, The thing that they're missing is that your protein and potassium levels continue to lower. So you keep craving the things that make you feel crappy. 
exercise programs and a lot of diet programs too. They're basically set up for healthy young dudes. All right. Let that be a lesson to you. You're like, is this a bro program? (laughs) Okay. And then the biggest problem is you don't have data. No one's getting you access to the right labs. Your doctor may run a lab or two, may run a panel, may run a ultrasound or a scope, but most likely they're not. And you're certainly not getting that in-depth lab testing that functional medicine can offer. When I first started, I wasn't making a ton of impact just because I was helping everyone. I was doing, uh, you know, consultations for 75 year old men who had like anxiety disorders, like James, you know, working with, with, uh, you know, my, my gentleman here who is, you know, definitely not my target demographic, but super fun to work with. I'm working with young women who, um, you know, they don't want to change their moms want them to change. I, it's hard to, you know, if any of you have ever been the parent of a 15 year old girl or tried to work with them professionally, you know, how hard it is. You know, I'm doing reset programs that are low cost and people are changing, but not for good, you know, and then single hour consultations that just don't move the needle. Right. I I needed to make a deeper impact. And so, you know, can you relate to that? Is there something that you've done in your life where you knew you needed the time, you needed the investment, you needed the energy put in to something for the greater good, right? The the longer we spend on something, the more we're committed to something, the better results we're going to get. <laughs> This is like my favorite GIF ever. All right. Happy uterus, mad uterus, right? And this is what happens when we are in perimenopause, my friends. So just remember that the outdated model works for a short period of time. It does work. That's why that diet and exercise model continues to perpetuate. So we can do things for a period of time, like low calorie dieting or orange theory or a bunch of supplements or another really low calorie or really low carb diet or intermittent fasting. But What is your actual return on that investment? Well, you're more tired. Your hair starts falling out. You're really moody. You might fit in your jeans just a little bit better for a period of time. And then you put on another 10 pounds. Go ahead and like search up your friends who've done like Optavia or like Isogenics and they post it all over social media for like a month. They look great. And then like a year later, you look at their family pictures and they look the same as they did before because a 30 day intervention didn't do crap except continue to mess up their endocrine system. Do you want to do things that way? Do you want to do things the broken way? I was sick of doing things the broken way. So I set out to find a way that works. And I want that for you too. And guess what? You do not need all of that stuff. Nope. You don't. You and I, we want the same things, right? We want balanced mood. We want daily joy. We want to be content in all things, but we also want to rest very deeply at night and we want consistent energy each day. And we want to know what foods we're supposed to eat. Like, should we be vegan? Should we be carnivore? Should we go keto? Should we go plant-based? Like we want to know what foods are going to make our bodies actually feel good. And the most important part, we want happy and healthy hormones during this perimenopause transition. So today, Let's talk about gracefully sailing through perimenopause while loving your body, your metabolism, your digestion, your energy, and your life, and without punishing yourself through intense exercise or starvation. I'm going to share with you those five secrets to an easy perimenopause. Let's dig in. Grab a piece of paper and a pencil. These are the five secrets coming at you. Number one, you need to eat more, girl. You need to eat more food, all right? Not less food. You don't need another diet. Women... And after working with 900 of them or more, I can tell you this, women are not sick. They are starving. I had a brand new client today. I listed out all of the main complaints she had. Usually women will have like three or four main complaints. This sweet girl had 21 main complaints, everything from POTS to GERD to hormone imbalance to sun sensitivity to weight gain. And I had her food journal for me for a little bit. Guess how many calories she was eating on average? 1,300 calories a day. Not even a toddler should be eating 1,300 calories a day. Women are not sick. They are starving. Now, let me clarify here because I can hear some people being like, well, I am sick. I know I'm sick. And yes, that yes, you are sick. (laughs) Okay. I'm not telling you that you're not. You are. And I work with women who are sick. What I'm saying in kind of a tongue and cheek way is that, you know, the reason that you're so sick is that your body doesn't have the resources to fight off what it's battling, right? When we're nourished, we have the resources, the resilience to fight off autoimmune disease and thyroid disorders and hormone imbalance and digestive disturbances. But when we're starving, when we're malnourished, we don't have that energy. 
And as Ari Witten says, our body is either in cell defense mode where it's shut down. You have no energy. Your thyroid starts to lower. Your digestion starts to shut down. Your energy is just in the toilet or you're in energy creation mode where you're vibrant and full of life and you have enough energy to devote to healthy pooping every day, a really strong libido, fantastic hair, skin, and nails, and a balanced mood. Women, it takes 2,000 calories a day at least, at least 2,000 calories a day for you just to function. Your basal metabolic rate is somewhere around 2,000 calories a day. So if you for years or decades have been, you know, like reducing that systematically, you know, 1800, 1500, 900, 1200, whatever it is, your body starts to shut down. And just as I've been saying, your thyroid and digestion and body temperature, libido, hair, skin, nails, immune system, it all starts to shut down. So the secret that you need to hear today, number one is that you have to eat more and not less, but you can't just go off eating as much as you want willy nilly, right? Because you're going to gain weight. You have to go about it in a really targeted, systematic way under the tutelage of someone who can guide you so that you're not putting on body fat, but you're putting on muscle and reducing body fat. Second secret is that exercise is killing you. You know, we've all like been running stadiums or something. We're like, oh, this is killing me. But it really is. It really is. Because you are a hormonal woman, right? And I'm not saying that in a degrading way. I'm saying it in a factual way. Like our hormones are really sensitive as women. And adding in intense exercise to an already extremely depleted body releases cortisol. Cortisol is a stress hormone, but it's also leads to insulin release, right? It's a glucocorticoid. So when cortisol is released, so is glucose into the bloodstream and glucose in the bloodstream consistently is also going to lead to a release of insulin in the bloodstream. And when there's too much insulin in the bloodstream and nowhere for insulin to go, that's going to shuttle that, that, that glucose into your fat instead of into your muscles and liver where it should go. And you're going to start gaining weight, specifically belly fat. All right. That exercise, again, as I just showed you, will lead to weight gain, but then also lead to HPA axis dysfunction, more commonly known, you know, as adrenal fatigue, right? But it's essentially the fact that your body can no longer process or handle stress, inside stress or outside stress. Therefore, your nervous system starts to shut down and you go one of two extreme ways, either so far into sympathetic nervous system overdrive that you're constantly in fight or flight mode. This is when panic attacks, insomnia, diarrhea, GERD, starts to occur, or you shift over into parasympathetic nervous system dominance in the extreme where your body's almost hibernating. So thyroid function shuts down, digestion shuts down, you know, uh, energy production shuts down and you're depressed and lethargic and you can't poop, right? So all of that exercise that you've done for many years is not doing you any favors. Secret number three is actually you're not superwoman. I mean, I think you're superwoman. <laughs> I, you know you're superwoman, but you don't have to prove it to everybody anymore. You're perimenopausal. You're likely late thirties, early forties. You've kind of made it. You know, you've proved it. You're here. You're amazing. And now your body needs you to acknowledge it. Okay. Since college, most likely you've been overstressing, under eating over dieting and under sleeping like so many of my women. And now that you're perimenopausal, all that's catching up with you. And so your body's starting to shut down as you just push it and push it and push it to do more. So instead of pushing down on a gas pedal that is connected to a gas tank that has no gasoline in it, we have to first work on putting gas into that gas tank and so that we can run our bodies more efficiently and more energetically. The fourth secret is one that, you know, is, is kind of a hard pill to swallow sometimes because, um, you know, this is kind of the investment piece, but honestly, nothing works without data. You've tried it all. Do you remember the cycle of trial and error? We have done all of the things I had done all of the things, but until I went through the FDN program, till I became an FDN, I had not run labs. I'd not run the right lab. So you might have gotten some lab tests, but not the right lab tests. And remember, like you're not sick, you're malnourished. And so we need to go in and find those points of malnourishment and kind of rebuild up what we call the vital void. Um, so that your body can handle all the chaos that's around it. Right. So we need to get the right test for hormones with the, with a Dutch test for comprehensive hormones and at home urine test. That is my favorite. 
We need to test a stool test for gut, you know, see why you're not digesting your food. If you're sensitive to gluten, if you've got a bacterial infection or a parasite. So we'll test with the GI map. We look for food sensitivities, not allergies. That's a separate arm of the immune system. We're looking at a delayed onset reaction to see why you're experiencing brain fog or skin issues or, you know, uh, inflammation or gut issues or lethargy, like unexplained exhaustion. And then we want to go deep into, you know, looking at your brain function with neurotransmitters, right? Do you have too much, um, you know, serotonin, too much dopamine, too little serotonin, too much glutamate, you know, do you have too much histamine in your brain that's causing you to feel agitated all the time? We really got to go deep into these super amazing labs that give us a lot of information. And you need to know that, you know, what's, what's wrong with you is not a pharmaceutical deficiency, right? Your depression is not a Prozac deficiency, right? Your hormonal issues, your mood swings, your PMS, that's not a pill deficiency. And your acid reflux actually is not a Prilosec deficiency. So keep in mind that data gives us a lot of the answers that you're looking for. The fifth secret, you know, this is really hard to do alone. I know because I'm type A and I want to do everything alone because I know I can probably do it best, right? And you're probably like me, like, ah, just let me do it. (laughs) But honestly, it wasn't until I put my pride aside a little bit, even pains me to say that, but it's true and realized I needed help in areas that I couldn't perform well in on my own. I needed accountability. I needed encouragement. I needed somebody who'd been through it before me to really help me get better. So it wasn't until I hired expert coaches that I was able to build a business going from like working for someone to having a business, right? That's scary. It wasn't until I hired a coach that I was able to become sober. You guys, I tried to give up alcohol approximately 873 times. All right. That's a made up number, but you can probably understand what I mean by that. Like, you know, every night I'd wake up sweating at 3am with my heart pounding. I'd be like, I'm never drinking again until the next night you know, or until that Friday. Um, so I hired a coach and by golly, I invested money, time, energy, and effort, and I got sober and that is by God's grace. And I was ready. Right. But I I knew I was ready because I had invested. Right. It wasn't until I hired a coach that I lost that 15 pounds that I was like plagued by for years and years and years, especially as a health coach. It's kind of embarrassing when you're carrying around like an extra 15 pounds. It wasn't until I hired a coach that I was able to start strength training and feel stronger and fitter than ever, optimize my macros, helping my digestion. So I will tell you that likely it's, you've tried it before and you've tried it on your own. It's really hard to do. And I also want to encourage you, like I have three jobs, four kids and, you know, a fantastic husband that takes a lot of my time. (laughs) Okay. Um, so I thought I didn't have the time to do it and I, I, I didn't have the wherewithal to commit, but honestly I did. And you do, my clients do, you just have to find it within you. It's literally already there, right? We have time. I'm pretty much on my phone on Instagram for like an hour a day. Right. And I know I can commit to things cause I'll do it for my kids. And so realizing I could do it for myself too. That's a powerful game changer. You guys, especially when it comes to health, I do believe that perimenopausal women have the right to feeling cute right? To having a hot body, to have strong digestion, to have tons of natural energy and a restful sleep and honestly a flaming libido. All right. And I will tell you this, this program, like what I've built, it doesn't just work for me. Kristen tells us she's had no hot flashes. She's sleeping through the night. We got rid of her panic attack. She's not even obsessing about her diet. Her mom said she was a completely different person and she said she's happier, right? Kenzie had some great responses too. You know, she had her first regular cycle without birth control in over five years after we started working together. At the end of our time, she was down 30 pounds in three months, you guys, plus her energy was back. Her Crohn's symptoms were at bay. Like this program is really life-changing in so many ways. Yes, with hormones, but in so many downstream effects of the body, you just feel better as you start learning about your body. So I want to share with you a couple quick things here, how you can have the energy, sleep periods, and body you deserve to have without deprivation, hard workouts, tons of supplements, or weird biohacks like Wim Hof breathing or cold plunges. You don't have to do any of those things. I know that your motivation is that you want to show up and love your family super hard. I know that you want to be a model employee or employer or volunteer. And I know you just want to love your life again, that at some point you did, and you've kind of lost it recently and you want that back, right? Um, I know how that feels and I'm excited to get to share with you 
some of the ways that we can do this. We're going to get rid of the meds, of course, with your doctor and with your permission. This is an opt in model of self care. I am not a doctor. I don't diagnose, treat or prescribe, but I can teach you to work with your doctor to transition to more natural ways to manage perimenopausal symptoms. You know, we're going to stop waking up early to punish yourself. We're going to stop eating things you don't actually like to eat that make your tummy feel upset, like kale salads, and they don't have nutritional value anyways, but that's neither here nor there. And we are going to stop starving ourselves, right? Ladies, give me a hell. Yeah. We are going to stop starving ourselves. Easy perimenopause helps you speed your metabolism, soothe your tummy and stabilize your hormones. Let's talk first quickly about metabolism. This is a lot of the things I hear from my clients. Why the heck have I gained five to 11 pounds? Suddenly I haven't changed anything at all. Why am I freezing and so tired all the time? And why am I losing muscle and gaining fat? Like what happened? We work on metabolism hard and easy perimenopause. We also have to work on the tummy because these are a lot of the questions I get. My women are like, why am I bloated all the time? I wake up bloated. I drink water and I'm bloated. Like I'm eating healthy. I don't understand why I'm bloated all the time. Why am I struggling with this constipation or diarrhea or constipation and diarrhea, depending on the time of day or what day it is? Why do I have this acid reflux? That's like getting worse. I can't eat spicy foods. I can't drink coffee. I can't drink wine. Like what is going on? Why can't I tolerate my favorite foods? And why, oh, why, oh, why does my tummy hurt all the time? With regards to hormones, this is one of the most confusing parts of perimenopause. You know, women want to know why their period is so heavy and clotty, why they're skipping periods or having two periods or three periods a month, why they've got this crazy PMS that's making them feel like, you know, their husband might leave them or why they are, you know, so irritable all the time with people they love, like their kids or, or their colleagues, why are their cramps worse every month, getting worse and worse. And why, oh, why, oh, why are their boobs so sore? Again, you know, you've tried to solve this yourself, biohacking supplements, going from doctor to doctor, Google, Instagram, maybe some regular labs from your doctor. You kind of need to know that real answers are available, right? But this isn't like a $30, you know, uh, supplement that you're getting or a $200 month long program, right? You don't want that $11 Timu blender because you know, it's going to break, right? It is probably time for you just to cut everything else out and focus on what matters, which is you and your hormone health. And that's going to be a little bit more of an investment, right? We are not looking at the Timu blender. We're just going rose gold, full on Vitamix blender, right? That is the blender I want because you want all the pieces of the puzzle. You want to know that every puzzle has been puzzle pieces meticulously been put into place by, you know, a, a, a series of lab tests and, you know, a practitioner who knows what the heck she's doing. So, um, I want you to have all of the puzzle pieces for your puzzle. And I want you to not need me anymore. That's my whole objective with clients. Like when you graduate my program, I want you to be like, peace out, Jennifer. It was lovely knowing you. I'll miss your corny mom jokes, but I got this now. And that's what I want you, you know, to have when it comes to your digestion, your hormones, your thyroid, your mood, your sleep, your libido, all of the things that you're struggling with now, you are going to have full control over six months from now, because you are going to know what fuels and runs your body. And I just want to remind you, you're worth it. Not to tell my clients this all the time, to tell myself this, you'll do so many things, you know, for your family or even for strangers or people like colleagues at work. But so many of us women forget that we have to take care of ourselves, not because we have to take care of ourselves, but because other people rely on us. Right. I have a brand new client that I was talking to this week who told me she was on blood pressure medication. She also, um, it doesn't do well in, in the sun and she lives in a really hot area. And she was at a zoo with three children, a two year old an eight year old and a 12 year old and realized in a hot second that she was going to pass out. She had to sit down on a bench. She had to hold her kids close and just pray, God, please protect them. Cause she didn't know how long she was going to be out for. That is terrifying. We have to take care of ourselves first so that we can take care of those who depend on us. So just, you know, a little bit of a reminder here, like whatever it is that you've dealt with, you know, endometriosis, pelvic pain, fibroids, cysts, surgeries, you know, ovarian issues, like these are things my women struggle with and going through a program like easy perimenopause, you can have your symptoms either subside or be very, very mineral, not mineral, 
minimal. <laughs> Here are some real women I've worked with. You can see like, these are wonderful women. Like they look happy before, but their bodies look happier after less inflamed, you know, uh, just more, more joyful. Like skin looks better. You know, even my sweet Amanda here, like she just didn't look very happy here. This is her a Bible study. Gosh, I love going to Bible study with Amanda, you know, going through the program, like really dialing in a lot of the things we dial in. You can just see like the joy is back, you know, and I see her in real life and the joy is back. Her skin is glowing. Like her, her body is stronger and fitter. She sleeps better. And so she's able to show up, you know, for her sweet kids better the next day. And of course, you know, we have that outward weight loss too. Um, like Julie over here. I love that Julie has her toilet in the picture. <laughs> But you know, these are real results from real people. All right. And it can be you as well. Just remember I was the first person to do this. And if this girl can do it, you can do it. I promise. So remember, you know, your husband needs you, your kids need you. This world does need you who run the world, man. It's girls. Like we love our men. Our men are amazing. They are fearless and fantastic leaders, but behind every strong man is a woman who, you know, turns the head. I totally botched that from my big fat Greek wedding. The man's the head. The woman is the neck that turns the head. There you go. So you just stop trying to reinvent the wheel and stop trying to do it alone. I can get you the six labs you need. We can get that to you within the week so we can start running those labs. We can get you real data. We can get you real answers. I will build you a custom plan just for you. I have never built the same plan for any of those 900 women I've worked with. It is just for you. I teach you body literacy, so you won't need me in six months, but you will feel strong and confident enough to get yourself out of the place you're at right now into the place you want to be. And I'm there to keep you accountable and encouraged. Here's what to do next. You get ready for your consult call. We're going to be talking about all this as we meet for a zoom call. I want you to go a little bit deeper. Maybe though, make a list of the things you've tried that haven't worked, right? Like what have you tried that haven't, hasn't worked? Maybe it's worked for a period of time. Then it stopped working. Let's talk about some of those things. I also want you to write out your why. What is the main reason that you're ready and willing to change? You might write down so I can fit in my pants and I would ask you why. <laughs> well, so I feel more confident and sexy. Well, why? Well, because with the way my moods have been lately, I feel like my husband kind of hates me and I want to protect our marriage. Well, now we got a why, right? So go deeper. Every time you answer that question, is there another layer of why that might be there? I want to know your why when we meet. All right. Realize that this program is for busy, overwhelmed moms. All right. I know you're already so overwhelmed. You don't know how the heck you're going to add one more thing. That's what I specialize in doing is walking women through the overwhelm because that's me too. I understand that. That is my life. I know that you're scared to commit because you feel like you'll never follow through, especially if you're going to invest. That's why I am here to keep you accountable and encouraged. I meet with you every single week, every single week. We talk on chat often. I basically become your hormone buddy and we talk through all aspects of your life. Um, just to make sure that you do feel accountable and encouraged. If that freaks you out and you don't need me that much, that's totally fine too. I'm not going to hound you, but I am here to keep you committed and help you follow through. If you tried everything else, welcome to the freaking club. You don't even want to know. I mean, I could literally write a book like with multiple chapters of all of the things I have tried that just didn't work. So I know that you've probably tried everything else I did. And so did many of my clients. You need to not try harder. You need to try different. And that's what running the labs and putting together this customized protocol based on your labs really, really dials in. And of course, if you're not sure your husband's going to go for it, like start talking to him about it. Like talk to him about your why talk to him about like, you know, investing in your family's health and investing in a, a content marriage, right. And, and health, not just for now, but 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years down the road, you know, as you actually do go through menopause itself. And as you have to worry about like your brain health and possible dementia or Alzheimer's and your bone health, like these are good things to put into place. Now, while we are perimenopausal, it is a wonderful opportunity for women to really cement future health by God's grace, of course. So you got a choice, you know, like show up to our call and, and be ready to work. I'm going to ask you some hard questions, but that's just what I do. <laughs> just so you know, um, and, or you could go back to, you know, what you were always doing, like re-scroll on Instagram, buy that next $25, $65 supplement. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. And you're right in the same place that you have always been. And that's all I got for you. So thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out, but I'm really excited to get to talk with you. All right, Jennifer out. Talk to you later.